Well, the NTSB is in a Detroit neighborhood tonight looking into why this single engine plane came crashing down into a backyard. The plane landed right between the two garages on the city's east side. Amazingly, no one in the plane or on the ground was hurt. Victor Williams is back in that neighborhood tonight near Kelly and Morang. And Victor, people are starting to process exactly what happened. Yeah, Karen, and one of those reasons why people are still trying to process all of this is because the plane is still here and it's a constant reminder for all the people who have been walking by or even some of the kids right in this park next door. But we do know that the investigation has started. They're going to be taking apart this plane piece by piece so they can have a closer look at what went wrong. But still the neighborhood in the meantime, they have so many questions. Thoughts? Could have came down on my house while I was sleeping. Nitea Stafford still can't believe a fixed wing single engine plane made an emergency landing in her backyard. I'm thinking it's thunder or something like that. So I'm like, well, I don't think it's supposed to rain today. I'm like, okay, it's, it's the actual plane in my backyard. Now the NTSB and FAA are both looking into what caused the pilot to have to make that emergency landing in the first place. And that's what I'm waiting on and how they're going to get it out. <laughs> I'm ready for it to go now. We now know that two people were on board what's been now identified as a single engine progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray. Thankfully, no one got hurt or seriously injured. At most, we saw a man with a bandage on his elbow. Miraculously, that's it. We both walked away, so it was just a little cut on his, on his elbow, so I was like, okay, wow. The plane originally took off in Troy with the final destination of City Airport. Obviously, it didn't make it, but another good thing is that there was no damage at any of the homes nearby. I don't know how he maneuvered or whatever he did, but whatever he did, he didn't do that much damage to the garage at all. It's only minor stuff. And it actually flew over our house, which is the corner house down the street, and nicked a couple of trees before it, you know, before crash landed right here. Omar Johnson, who lives just a few doors down, says he's just hoping for the best outcome. I don't like negativity, so I just pray that everything comes out positive. Two, the guys are out, so that's a positive thing, so I hope it was just uh, something wrong with the plane. That's it. Now, as more comes to light in this investigation, we will keep you guys updated as soon as we hear something. Victor Williams, Local 4. Understand them being uneasy is such a strange sight to just look out your backyard and still see that plane out there. All right. Thank you, Victor.